Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today's video coming up is a video about top 10 things you need to make your life easier. This is an idea. This video is Mr. Sperlin Edwards gave me the idea of doing this video. <coughs> so the top things you need to do when you come to the Philippines. Coming up. When you come to the Philippines, top 10 things you need to do to make things a little easier here when you come here. This will actually help you a lot. <clears throat> make life a little bit better for you so you're not running around, running around, running around. <clears throat> and a couple of cases I wish I had done a couple of things here. So this is no particular order. <clears throat> first things first is when and if you're, they open things up and they do the tourist visa, you need to get some type of visa. So, um, tourists, you know, if you come here, tourists, if you're going to marry a Filipina, get a 13A or SRV. 13A is not that expensive. SRV, uh, you have to put money down, uh, deposit money in a bank account. There are many different visas. But to make life easier, you need to get a uh, SRV visa or a 13A visa. Uh, military, if you're military, I think it's fifteen hundred dollar deposit in the bank. But anyway, just search on that. Uh, cash enough, cash enough. I put it in here for a year or two or more. Well, you know what? That is uh, it depends on you. If you have a lot of cash, okay. But if you don't have a lot of cash, like myself, um, it makes it tough sometimes. But really, overall, is. Enough cash that you can do whatever you want to do when you want to do it. You're retired, right? And so you want to be able to buy a house or buy land with your fiancé or your wife. You can't own land here, but you can lease land. So <clears throat> that's first things first. Really, in that same grouping, I would add something else to that. Find you a place to live. Really. It's convenient for you. It's nice for you if you want to live in a city. But don't, don't do it fast. Take your time. Meaning, if you like to live in a city, try it for a while. If you don't like it, try the province. If you don't like the province and the city, go out in the suburbs. And it'll give you, you'll, you'll get a pretty good idea on what you like and what you don't like. Another thing that you need here, and when you come here, that will make things a lot easier for you, is patience. A lot of us lack patience, and I'm one of them. I have to tell you, that's one of the things that I've uh, struggled with and I fight with myself all the time is patience. And as you know, uh, patience meaning internet's out, patience meaning uh, many different things. Out of stocks or order something that doesn't work, order something, it's completely different what you ordered. So here's an example, order pedigree dog food, chicken, beef, and I got all chicken. No big deal. Just plan for stuff. Order a fan. Life size fan, it's supposed to be up waist high. Got it? It's only like 12 inches tall. Be prepared for things like that. Just send it back. Uh, <clears throat> you need a point of contact there, really. And I say a point of contact, meaning if, you, if you're here in the Philippines, point of contact either in the USA or here. Someone you pick up the phone and call, if something happens, you're struggling, or you got saps that you. You fell out of a tricycle and you got sent to the hospital and you don't have Filipina and no one's around. I would just do out of stock. I mean, uh, contact. So make sure you find someone uh, that is a contact that you can pick up the phone and call. The puppy came out, so he's not stuttering there. You only want pee pee. <coughs> so, point of contact. So if something happens, you're in trouble. We have a couple friends that came and didn't, didn't prepare that and got stuck in the hospital and they couldn't pay the hospital bill, uh, come to find out, uh, they had the money, but they couldn't go get it out of the bank because the hospital, they're in bed. Now they're going to get it. So there's there's a couple things. If not, you can actually have hire people. That, that's what they do. They actually do that for you. Uh, they have access to small funds of money that you have to trust, though, and you can get them to go get the money if you needed it. One other positive thing here about living in the Philippines, you can stay as long as you want. You can stay here one one week, one day, one year, five years. It doesn't matter. You can stay as long as you want. 
with the appropriate visa. So make sure that you, you have the appropriate visa and they will give you the availability you can stay as long as you want. Now here's something I struggled with in the beginning, clothes sizes. Clothes sizes, shoes, underwear, shirts. Make sure that you do that and find the right clothes because you may not find your clothes. If you're a big guy like myself, it's just going to be really hard for you to find the clothes that you like and that you would need to you to to uh, wear, you know, because you can only wear that shirt so many times before it's going to wear out. It really is. Now, this particular shirt I had on, this thing is probably 10 years old. It's 10 years old at least because I had it three or four years in the U.S. and I've been here. So this thing, <laughs> this is the way it is. Uh, good attitude. You got to have a good attitude. A lot of people don't really realize good attitude is very important. Uh, if you don't have a good attitude, you're really you're really not going to uh, survive here because you come here with a bad attitude, they're going to give you bad attitude. If a guy's coming to repair something, give a drop off gas, and you give him heck for being five hours late, you may find yourself not getting the gas that you wanted, or when there's trouble, you're not going to have something uh, that needs to be fixed. Uh, Maybe if we travel and go around, and a lot of people uh, do this, a lot of people really, uh, this is a decision you want to make, cars. You maybe want a car or a motorbike or something like that. Now that's uh, something for me. I got a car. I really didn't need a car. What do I need a car for? I'll get something that's a little Suzuki or something and scoot around town, and I really don't need a car because where I go, I just take the bikes. We got the we got bikes. And as you can see over there, I have a, tricycle my my brother-in-law owns and uh it's got to get i had a new motor in it motor's burned up on it so he's saving money to put a motor in it but i have access to three family members have those i need something i just pick up phone call them and they take me wherever i need to go bus station uh tar wherever it doesn't matter valencia whatever and i don't have to worry about it it's really inexpensive uh now here's something that you really got to be prepared for when you come uh, to the philippines is motorbikes we talked about a person should be adapt, adaptable to the electric brownouts, to the water shortages, and you are going to have that happen. Yesterday alone we had three brownouts, and one lasted almost, almost three hours. So you're going to have that a lot. Thank goodness I have the solar. It's just a matter of what's uh, it's running, honestly. Uh, I have it on solar. I didn't know the power went out because aircon stopped. Now I can take everything off and put the aircon on and have aircon, and we can watch a movie on our phones because internet is on there, but sometimes we just just relax, not worry about it, turn the fan on, because the house is sort of cool. You get a house like that cool, uh, since it's a metal house, I don't care if it's 150 degrees outside, it's going to stay cool for a while, because it's uh, you know it's got the styrofoam inside. <laughs> that dog makes me laugh. And many foreigners that come here, they expect a lot. They, they expect to live the Western lifestyle, so I say, I suggest to everybody, you need to make it easier for you is don't expect the Western lifestyle here in the Philippines. That's number 10 on the list. If you expect to have the Western lifestyle when you come here, you're not going to have it. You'll be able to go get your TGI Fridays. You'll be able to go get uh, your Outback. You'll be able to do that, but you're going to pay 50, 60 bucks a steak, or you're going to pay you're going to pay a lot more than you normally would pay. And it still may not be the quality that you want it to be. So I suggest that you just take and don't, don't plan on having that Western lifestyle. It will just drive you insane. Sometimes I, I would say this, I had to bite my tongue many times as I come here, is I say to myself, well, in USA we do this. Well, we do this there. Well, we do this there. How come we can't be able to do this here? But really overall, you're not going to be able to do all the things that you want to do when you want to do it, and you're going to find the complications. If you go to do something here, just expect to plan it all day. If you go pay the electricity bill, it ain't gonna be no in and out in five minutes. You're gonna. Have, it may be because you may be in queue with a hundred people in front of you. So be prepared. It's gonna take anywhere from. Uh, it could take one hour to three hours, or four hours or five hours. Ruth has left the bill there, and had to pick it up that afternoon. The guard let her know. So you have to kind of plan stuff like that. You have to be prepared. Not everywhere is like that. But you you may incur incur more things than I would do. You know what I mean? That because if you're living in a different area, you may incur more things than what I would do uh, incur here, living in uh, this little area, little province. This little area is growing up, as you know. It's growing up fast. We got gas station number one, gas station number two. We have a store in front. We have a restaurant in front. We have attorney's office here. 
Uh, there's actually another building going on over here. Nestle's uh, Coffee Bean uh, Plantation is right here. They have a big warehouse for uh, Nestle's here. So uh, it's just growing. Uh, economy, I don't know. Well, you know what? It's growing around here. Uh, the farmers are struggling and everything else, but it seems to be some of them are doing business here. I want to thank everybody for always watching our videos. I want to thank you for always coming on our channel. I want to thank you for always, always taking the time to uh, visit us uh, on our channel. And thank you so much. God bless everybody.